I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on fractions. Let me thank all the viewers and subscribers for watching these videos and posting their suggestions. So based on that, here is a video where we will learn how to represent fractions on a number line. So we have taken up different kinds of fractions. So as you can see here, we have 3 over 2, which is improper fraction. We have 1, 1 over 3, which is a mixed number. And then we have combination of all of them. So this particular video will help you all to understand how exactly to place fractions on a number line. Now this placing fractions on a number line also helps you to arrange these numbers in an order. right? So the last question which you see here is arrange each of the above in descending order or decreasing order is for you to do. I would also like you to pause the video at present. Try to place these fractions on a number line and then look into my suggestions. Let's begin with the very first one and we'll focus on how to represent fractions on a number line, right? That is our focus. So we'll begin with these four fractions, denominators 2, 4, 4 and 2. So these are your denominators. Always in fractions, denominator decides the division of a whole, right? So, so the denominator gives you division of whole. So let's re remember that. So we see the denominator and that decides division of whole number, right? So that is the concept. So which is the biggest denominator here? Which is 4, right? So basically we need 4 parts. So let's begin with marking our line. That is a number line. So whenever we have a line which extends on both the sides, that is called a number line. So this is what a number line is. So it's a straight line extending on both the sides. So let's mark division. Let's begin with 0 first. And then we'll have 1. And then we'll have 2. Like this, we can have number of divisions. So 3, 4, and so on. Arrows means that the line extends till infinitely large, right? There is no end to this line. So we are interested only in small number here between 0 and 2. That should be enough for us, correct? Since the denominator is 4, we will divide this into 4 equal parts, correct? So the 4 equal parts means first let us do half of each, right? So these are your halves. And then we will do half of half. So those are your one-fourths, right? So that is half of half. Does it make sense to you? Right. That should be enough. So we have four divisions of one whole. So we can do one-fourth, right? And these are the two divisions. So we can do halves with these two divisions, right? So let's do half first. Half means we are going for half of the line, right? So that is your two divisions of a line. So this number here should be half. Correct? One fourth means you're only going from here to this. So that number is one fourth. Is that clear? Now, let us see how to get the other numbers. Three fourths. That means three of these one fourths. Three fourths means it means three one-fourths. Okay, so one one-fourth, two one-fourth, and three one-fourth. So that number here is three out of four. Is that clear? So I hope you're getting the concept. That is how we place numbers on a number line. Now the last number is three over two. Can you do this on your own? Try to do it. So that means 3 halves. So 3 over 2 is 3 halves. So this is 3 halves. So we have 1 half, right? So we have 1 half, 2 half, and then 3 half, right? So this is 3 half. Perfect. So that is how we should be placing numbers. I hope this is absolutely clear. Now, by the end of this, for examples, you should be master in this. Let's do the next one. 
again draw a number line this time the denominator is 3 so we have to divide the whole in three equal parts so let's begin with marking right so we have 1 let's make this as 0 1 and 2 so we have 0 1 and 2 okay <coughs> since the denominator is one third, we'll divide it into how many parts three equal parts let's say these are our three equal parts one two and three right so one two and three like this so these are one thirds okay now let us mark the first number here is one whole then one over three that means you straight jump to one whole that is one whole and then one over three and then to one third so you get one whole one over three do you see that that is one whole and one over three now let's look into the second one which is five over three okay so five over three is what so from here one third two third three third four third five thirds so that becomes five over three is that clear to you five one thirds how can i place two thirds two thirds will be just two units or one thirds right so one and one two so this is two over three is that clear to you so that is how you're going to place it so i hope you find it easy and interesting now perfect let's take the next one so here is your number line and let me mark the numbers so let's begin with zero and then we have one two and let me take three right so so here we have a zero here we have one two and three first number is five over two denominators two and four just as in the first case okay let me this time work with the halves first right so first i'll work with these halves marking them into halves okay so the number here is five halves so that means one half two half three half four half five halves right so that is five over two so we have done this one right then taking into halves we have the next number which is one and a half that means you go one full and then you go half so that is one half do you see that so we have done these two now let's look into the fourths fourths means i have to further divide half into halves so that is one fourth two fourth three fourth four fourth five fourth so this becomes five out of four for us does it make sense to you that is how you should be placing the fractions the last one is actually a test question for you so i'm going to take a bit more time you finish it off or pause the video and finish it off okay you see a number three so we have to go three or more right so we'll begin with the same kind of concept marking zero one two and three let's say four also okay so we have our markings starting with zero one two three and four the denominators are twos and fours so shall we do twos first so let's go by halves that's simpler so first two halves so okay so these are our halves two and a half that means one two and a half got it so this is two and a half okay now let's look into fourths now for fourths we have to divide this half into more halves so you get fourths do you see that so each is one fourth we are saying one whole and then five fourths how do i get that okay so we go like this one whole and how many fourths five okay five fourths is more than one okay uh, so get one two three four and one five so that is the number which is one whole and five fourths you get an idea it's kind of tricky so this number here is one whole and five out of four perfect the last one here is nine fourths well not the last one because three i've already taken three here so that is done so the number here is nine 
one force. How will you make nine one force? Let's look into this. Okay. So that means we'll go by the one force, right? So this is the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So that portion is also nine by four. Do you see that? So what we find is that these two are actually equal. 1, 5 over 4 and 9 over 4 are one and the same thing. So if you convert this mixed number into improper fraction, you get 9 out of 4. Correct? So that is how you are placing all the fractions on a number line. So it's a simple process. You need to remember that each division represents the denominator. So the division, if the denominator highest is 4, divide to 4 equal parts. Right, that is what we're looking into. Correct? Okay. Now, once you've done all this and the results are before you, I would like you to arrange the above in decreasing order. Right? So, decreasing means highest to lowest, descending order. So, for the first one, it will be 3 by 2, right? 3 by 2, and then 3 by 4, and then half and then 1 by 4. So that becomes the decreasing order or descending order. Likewise, do for the others also. I hope you learn a lot from this. Feel free to share my videos, write comments, and uh, if you need more similar questions, post them. Thanks for watching and all the best.